this channel is all about celebrating the very best of British engineering, power and performance, very strong words. But Alex, what do they actually mean? What kind of projects can people expect to see? Uh, well, we've got uh, quite a few things going on behind the scenes. So we have been restoring an aero engine, came to us as a complete ruin. So we've got that. And then we've got the thought of doing something with the aero engine. So putting it into a period chassis and making a, an aero engine car. Um, we've got quite a few steam projects going on with various things and putting steam to its test moving forward. And then we've got the challenge of um, building basically from scratch with very few new parts. A, a traditional Bentley blower. Wow, that you sound like some pretty cool mm. projects. So, aero engine, can you just explain what exactly that is? An aero engine is an engine that was fitted in an aeroplane. So, we've got uh, a Rolls Royce Griffin, mm -hmm. uh, which is like 37 litres. Um, so, we've completely stripped that down and rebuilt it. And then the challenge came to do something different with it. So, put the aero engine into a car, making it an aero engine car. <laughs> A lot of power to put on four wheels, isn't it? That that sounds quite intense to me. Yeah, yeah, we're not quite sure what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, you've got two and a half thousand horsepower on four wheels, only driving on the back two, and we're sort of doing the whole project in the era that it would have been done. Because back in the day, if you were wanting to go fast and you wanted to beat world records. You took the biggest engine you could find, which was an airplane engine, and you put it into a car and trying to keep it all Rolls Royce as much as we can. And that's a huge technical challenge because obviously that engine was designed to be in an aircraft at altitude, not at ground level. So what sort of challenges do you foresee sort of coming forward during that, that project? Quite a lot, really. It's, it's more complicated than you think when you have this idea, oh, we'll just chew on that engine into that and this will work. And then you, you start looking at how you actually do it and... The engines need to be altered to how they fit, how the drive comes out of them, actually how they run and operate, in, like you say, in the, not in altitude and not running under constant load. So that's sort of, I've got lots of problems and things to solve. And then actually when you put it into a, a vehicle, into a chassis, it's getting it to fit because it's massive. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's getting it so it's not too heavy. And then how do you stop it? How do you make it go? How do you steer it? You know, lots of... A problem to solve so that's what we like definitely doesn't sound easy and what about this bentley blower i mean that is an absolute flaw of a car isn't it yeah i mean it's got to be the most iconic supercar of you know the area and it's what put great britain on the map in motorsport mm. really and so it's got so much british history um that's the sort of real appeal to it that the people that raced them were the, the Bentley boys, you know, they were the, the heartthrobs of the yeah. of the of the time. And that, you know, if you were a Bentley boy, you'd really made it. So it's got so much appeal to do it. We ended up with a few original parts and gone from there. So it's it's something that interested me because I've never done anything like that. And we tend to specialise in the heavier steam. Mm -hmm. equipment which is all big stuff and i haven't done really much on the smaller intricate very fine work so that's it's all quite new skills to us and, and doing some of this along the way so um yeah we've got a lot to learn doing it so we've got two extremes there is there a middle ground do you think there's going to be projects coming through your your workshop you know from work you know through your business that you're going to sort of be tackling on the channel as well yeah definitely we've always got loads of interesting things going on behind the scenes that come and go quite regularly so you know we'll be tripping and out looking at those show what we've got testing things how we've solved problems uh, and new projects and I'm going to be here sort of interrogating you along the way, but can we expect any sort of special guests to be making any appearances? We've got me, my brother-in-law, who's an ambassador for Maurice Lubicon as well, who is um, one of the leading truck racers in the country. So he's got an um, interest in getting his truck, you know, to obviously be the best. So we're looking at helping him with a bit of development work for that. Mm -hmm. We've got a front axle to try and bend and alter. He's got some really great ideas about... Um, altering how it performs so he's going to be popping in and coming up with some bits and pieces to do there and then we've got the legendary guy martin who's um a good friend and also involved in morris lubricants um he's very very keen on the aero engine car project and and the bentley really if it goes fast and uh, and is dangerous he's definitely the guy you want to be involved with so um yeah 
we'll be seeing them all. And how do you feel to be the person bringing all of these people and all of these projects together? You know, that's that's pretty exciting. Maybe a big burden as well. So, how are you feeling ahead of ahead of all of this? Um, a bit apprehensive. We obviously we want you know all all the things the projects that we're working on to come together and to be successful. People to see what we're doing, but you know that's what we do. We like the challenge of. Um, doing that and it, you know and it's great for working with all the people and um you know guy and dave are great personalities great people and you know a, a fountain of knowledge themselves and i think that's what the fascination of doing any of these projects is it's it's the journey and mm -hmm. talisman was a prime example when we set off to build that it was just an ambition to own an engine and have one and it suddenly came to me, it, it wasn't really about the finished project, it was about the journey, and it was about who we met, what we learned along the way, and that's priceless. And that's what I want to share with Power and Performance, to show what you can learn and, and who you can meet along the way. Fantastic. Well, we hope to see a lot more of you guys as we progress on this epic journey on Power and Performance. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss an episode.